So we missed you at our class meeting today. Um, we started off with this estimation activity. Uh, I'd like you to get a number in your head of how many glass gems you think are in this glass. You might want to invite family or uh, like little brothers or sisters or even older brothers or sisters or your parents or um, anybody in your home to join with you and see who can get closest to the estimation. Okay, so the reveal. There are 25 glass gems in this glass. Notice that there are a few hints that might help you. There's this toy car right here. There is this die back here. And this whole thing is sitting on a wooden clipboard, which is about the size of your binder. That's important because we're going to do three more estimations of the same glass with a different number of glass gems in it. Make an estimate of how many glass gems you think are in the second cup. And it's 14, so there's 11 less. This one has quite a few more. Make an estimation. And then if you're doing this with other people, I'd like you to share what your estimation is with those people. And the reveal, there are 51 glass gems in that third cup. Here's our fourth and final. Make an estimation. I'd like you to share it with the people you're trying this with, unless you're doing this by yourself, um, and come up with the reason. Why is your number your number? And listen to their reasons and see if you want to change your answer. And the reveal, 37 glass gems. I would like you to respond to this posting in Google Classroom and tell me how close you were to that final um, answer so that I can give you some credit for being part of this class meeting. So the rest of our class meeting was pretty simple. Um, I would like to know if you feel like you're getting kind of a Goldilocks question, too many assignments, too few assignments, or just a right amount of assignments. And I don't just mean for math, I mean all of your assignments for your classes. In our seventh grade class meeting today, we had some conversation that people thought it might be helpful to get a checklist so you could organize the assignments you're getting for the week. And if that would be helpful to you, or if you have any other ideas of things that your teachers could be doing to help you, please let me know. We're trying to figure out how to do this better so that more of you feel comfortable and confident in trying to take um, some organization of your learning. I'm going to keep sending out on Monday in Google Classroom what our assignments for the week are. On Wednesday, we will continue to check in. This check-in is gonna to move to 12.30 on Wednesdays. And then on Friday, I've been posting answers in Google Classroom, so you can check your work. I check work that is due on Friday. I don't check it though until Monday morning. And as you guys know, I always accept late work. So if you're not able to get your work in um, on Friday or Saturday or Sunday, um, just send, put, like submit it when you can, and I will um, work in when I can find time to check it, probably on uh, Wednesday morning before class meetings. So if you have any other questions for me, let me know. If you were in third and fourth period, I really hope you go and look at the um, videos I made for Agile Mind this week, so you're not having to go through the animations by yourself. 
And if you are in first period, I hope vocabulary really helps you with the scientific notation idea. And uh, let me know what questions you have.